Hello everyone and welcome to Destination Penguins. We are Jarek and Agnieszka traveling to the bottom of South America in our van Mundo. In 2023, we left our American lives behind and embarked on the journey south. Life is short, world is beautiful, and we want to make memories for a lifetime. So join us on this journey as we publish the highlights on YouTube. So we're going on a hike today. We are in Cocachimba in Peru, tiny little town. Basically four streets around the square and the square is a football pitch. So we are going to Buenos Dias. We're going to buy tickets in town, quote unquote, and then go to um, the beginning of the trail, which where the tickets are checked and collected. And then we are off to five and a half kilometer each way uh, trail that can, from what I know, can be a little bit hard. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, Waterfall Gokta is the 18th highest waterfall in the world. Um, so in the perspective, so it's about 700, well, it's exactly 771 meters tall. Uh, and so as far as the perspective is concerned, it's um, higher than Yosemite Falls by about 30 some meters. So it will be 100 feet. So the tickets are here and they communal Tur tourism association in Cocachimba and we have to sign in buy tickets it's not very expensive and then go on okay here is our beginning of the hike the waterfall is in the distance and the lady told us that we may be able to see cock of the rock which is the national bird of Peru kind of has funny shape red head and then toucans which are my favorite and hummingbirds with these long kind of whimsical tails which are only found in this area so but so far we only see a chicken first beautiful sight oh these mountains are incredible Whoa. the waterfall oh it's so beautiful here they they grind the uh, sugar cane in the super old-fashioned way with the horse and I guess they're squeezing the juice. Wow, you don't see that every day. This is cool. This road is so beautifully built and landscaped in a sense because they obviously trees planted along the path. These are, look, I think they give this yellow small fruit, lookwats, I believe. But so pretty. These mountains are so different than the mountains in Ecuador or Colombia. Oh. There's a mule that's taking... Of Buenos Dias. So, so probably it's five and a half. Now I can see why.
getting closer and closer. So the story goes that this waterfall was quote-unquote discovered in 2002, meaning there was a Western and Peruvian scientist uh, expedition to this area and they discovered this waterfall. Obviously the local people always knew about it, but there is this uh, story about a white mermaid that protects people and she lives in the waterfall and the idea was to keep it secret so the mer mermaid is happy and keeps protecting the locals and after it was quote-unquote discovered then it was considered first as a second tallest after Angel Falls then as a fifth tallest and ended up as the 18th tallest waterfall in the world 771 meters this is only the bottom part we can't see the top anymore I don't know if the microphone is picking it up but it's making a cracking sound like the ropes are falling. Oh. oh, this is gorgeous because of the like rock formations and. <laughs> so this hike was pretty empty. It's only our two German friends and these three people and us. Cool. Super, super cool. Wow, and this. And this is only half. <laughs> I left the little town of Kokachimba today and going to archaeological sites called Kulab for um, 
the civilization in the 5th and 6th century that the people are called Chocho uh, Poyas. Yeah. Poyas. And we're driving through this valley with um, the river valley and obviously the road was carved in the rock and some of the rock is still overhanging the road and it's so pretty and different than anywhere else we've ever been. It's really, really cool. And the road is precarious, <laughs> like this little patch. Today is a culture event or adventure for us. We came to their archaeological site called Kulab um, that was occupied in the 5th and 6th century by Chochopoyas people. And in order to get to that um, site, we have to take a bus and then the cable car and then walk for about a kilometer or a mile. Um, so that's what we're doing in the morning today. The first step of the trip to pull up is the bus ride to the cable car. Yes. Yes. Gracias. So Chochamoyas lived here between 500 and 1570 for over a thousand years. So this is how Kulab looks from the from the air. All right. So now it's the third stage of our access to the archaeological site walking up the trail I think it's like a little over one kilometer Here's the village. 
from what I read. And this whole place, there's about 3,000 people lived. And they like to build the houses in the circle buildings. with like wooden roofs covered with straw. Even the wall has concaves and convex. It's not a straight wall. It doesn't have angles, right angles. The rocks are beautifully chiseled. The buildings in the round shape or circular buildings were not only used for domestic residences but also for ceremonial buildings and even buildings where people were buried. The whole territory, Chochapoya's territory was about 300 square kilometers and bordered with Inca Empire in the later stage and traded with Incas using the Incas road system and both peoples had a mutual respect for each other. Where there was sacrifices. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Made on Talk top. Of everything. Yes. Including human. Really? Human yeah. animals? Yeah. Everything. And apparently you might have had a roof on it. So the site is on top of a flat mountain. Beautiful views. Here's a um, building constructed according to the Chachapoya people specifications to give us kind of a hint how it looked. Wow, I like it. Pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, this is cool. Oh yes, wait. Yes, there's the attic <laughs> with the owner of the house. All right. Beautiful roof. Bunk beds. And in the middle of the ground, there's a fire pit. The end of the adventure it was really, really fun. Fantastic place. After Kulab, oh my god, after Kulab, we are driving to Trujillo. I do not like this one. 
Okay, we're driving to Trujillo, which is on the coast, Peruvian coast. And it's this is one way road. 300, it's 300 and close to 400 kilometers. And it's going to take us a few days. <laughs> Maybe I can check on <laughs> Okay, I have to cut it out. <laughs> And Whoa. we, we meaning more like uh, Yarek, decided to do, do the back roads. So we're driving on this really steep road, terrible road, through small villages and towns. And we have to go through I don't know, 10, 11,000 elevation. And I really hope we're not going to see any cars coming the other direction. This is very high. We're just passing by this really nice town in the Some crazy landscape. Officially, I can state that I'm not really that interested in off-roading. The constant bounce, it's not that much fun for me. So we are on the mountain pass, 3,600 meters in the Andes. Our first night on the crazy drive um, to the coast is at the restaurant where we had fantastic dinner and now Mundo is parked in a driveway right here and this is our beautiful view it's kind of overcast so it's hard to see anything but that's where we're going to spend the night and then another day of driving tomorrow. Okay. All right, day two of our crazy ride on the back roads of Peru, from northern Peru to the coast. Uh, we are off to another four or five hour drive. And um, we spend the night at the really nice family restaurant, Kaya Kaya, I think. We had lovely dinner and lovely breakfast and stayed on in their driveway and it was very pleasant. Everything was good and now we off continue. It's surprising how the restaurant, how busy the restaurant was last night and today in the morning. 
already quite a few clients so it must be a pretty well known place to stop so in the morning the mountains look like they covered with velvet do you agree Eric? don't have much just they covered with grasses there's no trees on them and the shadows make it like really interesting so we're coming down from the summit and the road is going to be twisty and sort of going the switchback manner to come down the mountains One of the main rivers flowing into the Amazon. So today is day three of our travel to the coast and I think it's today is the day that we're going to make it. But we're driving through this valley today that uh, there is a rev river runs through it um, but on the banks of the river there's so many mango trees. <laughs> and rice. And rice, yes. Lots of rice. So we, we stopped and picked up um, a kilogram so two pounds of mango mangoes which is like three big mangoes basically and uh, we paid two solas and two solas is 50 cents and they are just like must have been picked probably half an hour ago because they smell so good so it's a mango heaven we in and there are three kinds the red ones which I my favorite and then the yellow ones like the I think we call them champagne in the US and they are much smaller and then there are big yellow ones but anyway the landscape is very different than the last two days because it's scraggly it's dry it's sort of cut to see it is a high desert even though we're not really that high are we about 1,700 oh okay so it's like over 5,000 feet or closer to 6,000 um, but uh, and it's much busier and the road is much 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 better 
but it's still, we have five hours to the coast. No, two hours, 16 minutes. Now, from now, from but now. I think we started with five, right? Yeah. All right, so we well into it. Okay, we made it to the beach today, so we crossed Peru and from the mountains, from the Andi Andes to the coast in a fishing village, Malabrigo, and it's a really cool place. Apparently there's quite a few surfers normally, but not this time of the year. It's a fishing village, there's all these fishing ships here it's a beautiful sunset but there is also a beautiful full moon it's friday night so the the town is alive has lots of people coming today and enjoying the weekend In this episode, we drove from the border to the Gokta waterfall and Chochapoya archaeological site, Kulab. And from there, we drove across Peru and across Andes to the coast and the town of Trujillo.